Hey, I'm Zach. I am the director of video production here at One Month, and I'm here to show you how to record a screencast. First of all, what is a screencast? You're watching one right now. Essentially, a screencast is made up of a recording of your desktop, voiceover of you explaining a topic, and potentially a little video of yourself. There's a ton of different software out there that you can use to record screencasts. We like ScreenFlow here at One Month because it's affordable, it's easy to use, and the design is awesome. So first things first, you're gonna need to get the app. The good news is that ScreenFlow is a really generous demo. You can use every feature except for exporting without a watermark for free. When you make something that you actually wanna put on YouTube, then you can pay for a license. The bad news is that ScreenFlow is Mac only, so if you are on a Windows or a Linux, you're gonna need something else. Open Broadcaster software is free and cross-platform, but it doesn't have an integrated video editor like ScreenFlow does, so it's a little more difficult to use if you're trying to make something more involved. If you're on a PC, Camtasia is the industry standard, and they also have a version for Mac. So let's get you making your first screencast right now. So once you've downloaded the free trial of ScreenFlow from Telstream.net, you'll be ready to get started. Once you've installed the trial, go ahead and open ScreenFlow. Once you're in ScreenFlow, you can go to New Recording and select what settings you want for your video. Record Desktop From lets you select what screen you want to record if you have multiple monitors. If you're only using one monitor, by default, it'll select that one. If you plug in an iOS device, you'll be able to record the screen from that device. I don't have one plugged in right now, so it's grayed out. Record Video From lets you record a separate video feed, say from a webcam, like this. This drop-down lets you select the format of the video. The format you want is going to depend on the camera you have. I'm using a standard HD camera connected to my Mac, so I use 1920 by 1080 for full HD. I could also use 1280 by 720 for the same aspect ratio, but a lower resolution. If you're using the built-in webcam on your Mac or another webcam from a third-party provider, you'll want to check the specifications of that product to know which resolution to use in ScreenFlow. If you choose to record video right here, it'll show up in the final video down there, but you can resize it and move the window to wherever you like. My only advice if you're going to record your webcam is that you get used to making eye contact with the lens and give yourself a couple seconds before you start talking and after you finish to just look in the camera and smile. It'll make it a lot easier when you want to cut between things or make cross dissolves. If you just want to record the desktop of your computer and your voice, all you need to check are record desktop from and record audio from. By default, it'll choose your system microphone, but if you have multiple mics plugged in, you can select it from the drop-down menu right here. Record computer audio just means that anything you hear on your computer will be recorded to the ScreenFlow file. So if you want to show, say, a YouTube video or play a song, check that box to make sure you record it. The first time you click that box, it will prompt you to install a plugin, but it's a quick installation. When you're ready to roll, just hit the red button. Once the numbers pop up, you can either wait for them to count down or click it to start recording. Now, everything you do on your screen, everything you say into your microphone, and everything you do on camera will be recorded all at the same time by ScreenFlow. Pro tip, turn off notifications by putting on Do Not Disturb mode. If you go up here in the right-hand corner, you'll see that I have Do Not Disturb mode on. To toggle it on and off, you can hold the Option key on your keyboard and just click right there. When you're ready to stop, you can just come up here to this little camera icon, and you know it's recording because there's that little black dot. And when you're ready to stop, you just press Stop Record, or if you're a keyboard ninja like me, you can just press Shift Command 2. When you stop your first recording in ScreenFlow, you'll notice that it opens up with the footage that you shot automatically in the timeline of an untitled document. So first off, you might want to save the project so that you don't lose any work and that you can keep it organized on your computer. I'm going to show you what you need to do to get your first video out there into the world. 
If you want to dig deeper with ScreenFlow, which has a lot of advanced features, I recommend you check out their documentation, which you can find in the Help menu. Just go up to Help, ScreenFlow Help, and once you're here, there are a lot of options. I would recommend jumping into the Get Started section for some of the quick tours that they offer. For instance, you can learn more about the interface of ScreenFlow in depth in Editing Your Screencast, Editing ScreenFlow Projects, Editor Window Overview. And they have a lot of beautiful documentation that makes it super clear what everything's for. When it comes to editing in ScreenFlow, the most fundamental thing you're going to need to know is the letter T. T is going to allow you to make cuts on the timeline, like this. If you decided to record video from your webcam, you may not want to see it throughout the entire video. If that's the case, make a cut wherever you want to stop seeing it and drag it beneath the desktop layer. And now, you'll still hear the audio. The problem is if you delete it, you also lose the voiceover. So you want to make sure not to do that. Make sure that your canvas is set to 1080p. Just click this button on the left-hand corner of the screen and make sure the canvas is set to 1920 by 1080 and apply. Depending on the resolution of your screen or your webcam, that may require you to resize the videos within the canvas, which is super simple. Just remember to select the video layer hold down shift as you drag the corner of your video to fit. By default, Wistia scales the videos that it exports to 50%. If you're working on a 1080p project like me, make sure to scale it to 100% for the best results. Hit export, and that's it. Hit me up below if you have any questions about how to use ScreenFlow to make your first screencast. And if you're ready to make your own video, definitely share the link below when you have it online.